Michael Palin, born in 1943 in Sheffield, England, is known for his work as a writer and member of the comedy group Monty Python. His father, Edward Palin, was a statistician, and his mother, Mary Palin, was a homemaker. Palin's love for comedy was sparked at an early age when he would listen to recordings of radio comedy shows. Palin attended Shrewsbury School, a prestigious boarding school, where he began writing and performing comedy sketches. He later studied history at Oxford University, where he met Terry Jones, with whom he would later form Monty Python. At Oxford, Palin became involved with the Oxford Review, a comedy troupe that performed sketches and satirical reviews. This experience exposed him to the world of comedy and provided him with the opportunity to develop his writing and performing skills. Palin's early comedy influences included The Goon Show, a popular British radio comedy program, and the work of comedians like Peter Sellers and Spike Milligan. He has also cited the plays of Shakespeare and the novels of Charles Dickens as early influences on his writing. Throughout his career, Palin has worked with many notable mentors and collaborators, including John Cleese, Eric Idle, Terry Gilliam, and Neil Innes. These relationships have been instrumental in shaping his unique comedic voice and style. In summary, Michael Palin's background in comedy was shaped by his upbringing in a family that valued education and his early exposure to radio comedy shows. His experiences at Shrewsbury School and Oxford University, as well as his involvement with the Oxford Review, provided him with the opportunity to develop his writing and performing skills. Palin's early comedy influences included The Goon Show, Peter Sellers, and Spike Milligan, and he has worked with many notable mentors and collaborators throughout his career. Michael Palin is a well-known writer, actor, and television presenter. Best recognized for his work with the comedy group Monty Python, he was born in England in 1943 and studied at Oxford University. Palin has written and starred in numerous films and television shows, including Monty Python and the Holy Grail and A Fish Called Wanda. He has also presented several travel documentaries, taking viewers on journeys around the world. Do you have a personal story of how Michael Palin has inspired or impacted your life? We'd love to hear about it in the comments below. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this classic star? Stay tuned, because there are many funny, shocking, and sad facts coming up about Michael Palin. So, keep watching this video to learn more. Michael Palin's passion for writing was ignited during his time at Oxford University. He studied modern languages and quickly became involved with the Oxford Review, a comedy and theater troupe. Here, he found himself writing and performing sketches, discovering a love for the creative process and the excitement of making people laugh. A pivotal experience came when Palin and his fellow Oxford Review members, including Terry Jones and Eric Idle, performed in Edinburgh. Their show caught the attention of British comedian and actor Peter Cook, who invited them to perform in London. This opportunity gave Palin the confidence to pursue a career in comedy writing and performing. After university, Palin and his friends formed the groundbreaking comedy group Monty Python, which allowed him to further explore his writing and performance skills. Throughout his career, Palin has continued to write and act, always cherishing the creative spark that first ignited his passion at Oxford. Michael Palin was born on May 5, 1943, in Sheffield, England. His father was an engineer, and his mother was a homemaker. Palin had a happy childhood and developed an early interest in comedy and storytelling. He attended Oxford University, where he studied history and joined the Oxford Review, a comedy troupe. It was there that he met Terry Jones, with whom he would later collaborate on numerous projects. After graduating, Palin worked as a writer and performer for the BBC, where he became a member of the comedy group Monty Python. The group's irreverent, surreal humor made them a sensation in Britain and later in the United States. Palin's writing and acting skills were key to the success of Monty Python, and he went on to appear in numerous films and television shows. He also became a successful travel documentarian, hosting several popular series for the BBC. Palin's career has been shaped by his versatility and his ability to combine humor with insightful commentary. He has been recognized with numerous awards and honors, including a knighthood in 2019 for services to television and travel. Despite his many accomplishments, Palin remains modest and down-to-earth with a deep love for storytelling and a commitment to making people laugh. His contributions to comedy and television have left an indelible mark on popular culture. Michael Palin, a well-known writer, faced several challenges in his early career. Financial struggles were common, 
as he often lived paycheck to paycheck while trying to establish himself in the industry. Despite this, he remained dedicated to his craft and continued to write, often spending long hours perfecting his work. In addition to financial difficulties, Palin also encountered skepticism from industry professionals. Some questioned his ability to succeed as a writer, and he faced numerous rejections before finally finding success. However, Palin refused to let these setbacks discourage him. Instead, he used them as motivation to improve his writing and keep pushing forward. To overcome these obstacles, Palin turned to creative solutions. He formed a writing partnership with Terry Jones, which provided both financial and emotional support. Together, they worked on various projects, including the groundbreaking comedy show Monty Python's Flying Circus. This collaboration allowed Palin to hone his writing skills and gain recognition in the industry. Another challenge Palin faced was breaking into the world of film and television. He initially struggled to find work in these fields, but he refused to give up. Instead, he took on any opportunity that came his way, no matter how small or seemingly insignificant. This persistence paid off, as Palin eventually landed roles in several successful films and TV shows. In conclusion, Michael Palin's early career was marked by financial struggles, industry skepticism, and numerous setbacks. However, he remained resilient and found creative solutions to overcome these challenges. Through hard work, dedication, and persistence, Palin was able to establish himself as a successful writer and actor in the entertainment industry. Michael Palin, a well-known actor and writer, left the Reform Club in London on September 25, 1988, to embark on a journey around the world in 80 days, accompanied by a BBC TV team. The journey was later documented in a television series and a book, both of which were successful. In addition to his travel writing and documentaries, Palin has also had a successful career in film and television. He appeared in the 1981 film Time Bandits, alongside Ian Holm, Catherine Hellmond, Peter Vaughn, and Jim Broadbent. Palin played the role of Jack Lint, a character that was originally intended to be the hero in the film's early drafts. Interestingly, Palin reprised the role of Jack Lint in the 1985 film Brazil, which was directed by Terry Gilliam, a former member of the Monty Python comedy troupe, of which Palin was also a member. In Brazil, Palin's character is a ruthless and cold-hearted government agent, which contrasts sharply with the more light-hearted roles he is known for. Overall, Michael Palin is a versatile and accomplished writer and actor, with a career that spans multiple decades and genres. His contributions to television, film, and literature have left a lasting impact, and he continues to be a popular and respected figure in the entertainment industry. Michael Palin's career as a writer, comedian, and actor is studded with breakthrough moments. In the 1960s, he, along with Terry Jones, Eric Idle, Graham Chapman, and John Cleese, formed the comedy troupe Monty Python. Their groundbreaking show, Monty Python's Flying Circus, brought a fresh wave of humor to television, blending surrealism and satire. Palin's role in the series, which included writing and performing, was pivotal. According to Cleese, Michael had this extraordinary ability to take an absurd situation and make it seem real, which was crucial to our comedy. In the 1980s, Palin shifted his focus to travel documentaries. His series Around the World in 80 Days was a critical and popular success. It showcased Palin's ability to engage with diverse cultures and present complex issues in an accessible way. As critic Clive James noted, Palin's charm lies in his genuine interest in people and places. He doesn't pretend to be an expert. Instead, he invites us to explore the world with him. Palin's work has also been recognized with several awards. He was appointed a commander of the Order of the British Empire in 2000 for services to television. In 2013, he received the BAFTA Fellowship, the highest accolade bestowed by the British Academy of Film and Television Arts. Palin's impact extends beyond his own work. As fellow comedian and writer Stephen Fry noted, Michael Palin has not only left an indelible mark on comedy, but has also inspired generations to explore the world and appreciate its diversity. Michael Palin is best known for his role as Jack Lint in the film Brazil, directed by Terry Gilliam. Interestingly, the mask used by Palin's character in the movie was also used by extras in the 1994 Green Day music video Basket Case. Before Brazil, Palin was part of the groundbreaking comedy troupe Monty Python's Flying Circus which included John Cleese, Graham Chapman, Terry Jones, Eric Idle, and Terry Gilliam. Despite officially parting ways with the group, Palin still appeared in Gilliam's first post-Monty Python film, Brazil. 
Michael Palin, a member of the renowned comedy group Monty Python, has a unique approach to his work that combines humor, intelligence, and satire. His artistic vision is heavily influenced by his worldview, which is shaped by his experiences and travels. Palin is known for his witty and observational writing style, often using his work to critique societal norms and institutions. His creative process typically involves extensive research and preparation. For example, when working on his travel documentaries, Palin spends months studying the culture, history, and geography of the places he will visit. This allows him to approach his work with a deep understanding and appreciation of the subject matter. Palin's personal experiences also play a significant role in his work. His travels and encounters with people from diverse backgrounds have given him a unique perspective on the world, which is reflected in his writing and performances. He often uses humor to explore serious themes and to challenge his audience's assumptions. One of the things that makes Palin's style unique is his ability to seamlessly blend different genres and formats. He has worked as a comedian, actor, writer, and documentarian, and his work often incorporates elements of these different fields. This versatility has allowed him to connect with a wide range of audiences and to leave a lasting impact on the world of entertainment and media. Overall, Michael Palin's artistic vision and process are characterized by his intelligence, humor, and curiosity. His work is a reflection of his worldview and experiences, and his ability to blend different genres and formats has made him a beloved and enduring figure in the world of entertainment and media. Michael Palin, a well-known writer and comedian, has faced challenges in his personal relationships. His friendship with fellow Monty Python member Terry Jones became strained due to disagreements about the direction of their work. Palin also had a falling out with actor and friend Ian Holm, which lasted for many years. Apart from personal relationships, Palin has faced other struggles in his life. He suffered from depression, which he has spoken openly about in interviews. Additionally, he faced criticism for his involvement in a travel program that was accused of promoting colonialist attitudes. Despite these challenges, Palin has continued to work and create. He has written books, starred in films, and presented television documentaries. His ability to persevere and overcome obstacles is a testament to his resilience and determination. Palin's experiences demonstrate that even successful and accomplished individuals face difficulties and setbacks. His story is a reminder that personal struggles and relationships are complex and can be challenging, but they can also lead to growth and understanding. Michael Palin, a member of the renowned comedy group Monty Python, has significantly contributed to the entertainment industry as a writer and performer. His work, characterized by its wit, humor, and intelligence, has influenced both his contemporaries and future generations. Palin's writing has left an indelible mark on sketch comedy, with his ability to create memorable and absurd characters and situations. According to industry expert John Cleese, also a Monty Python member, Michael has an extraordinary ability to find the humor in the most mundane situations, making them both hilarious and memorable. In addition to his work with Monty Python, Palin has also made significant contributions to television and film as a solo artist. His travel documentaries, such as Around the World in 80 Days and Pole to Pole, have been praised for their storytelling and ability to engage audiences with cultural and historical insights. As travel journalist Simon Reeve states, Michael Palin's documentaries have not only entertained, but also educated audiences about the world and its diverse cultures. Palin's influence can also be seen in the work of contemporary comedians and writers. Comedian and writer Steve Coogan cites Palin as a significant influence, stating, Michael Palin's work with Monty Python and his travel documentaries have been a constant source of inspiration for me. His ability to find humor in any situation and his willingness to take on new challenges are truly remarkable. In conclusion, Michael Palin's contributions to the entertainment industry as a writer and performer have left a lasting impact. His work has influenced both his contemporaries and future generations, shaping the landscape of sketch comedy and travel documentaries. As Palin continues to create and inspire, his legacy will undoubtedly endure. Michael Palin, best known for his work with the comedy group Monty Python, was also active in writing other materials during the 1970s. He co-wrote the TV series Ripping Yarns with Terry Jones, which was based on a one-hour comedy called Tomkinson's School Days. The series was successful and won the Broadcasting Press Guild Award for the Best Comedy or Light Entertainment Program in 1977. In addition to his work with Python 
and ripping yarns, Palin also found time to write Three Men in a Boat in 1975. Palin's father worked as an export manager for a steel company in Sheffield. It may come as a surprise to some that Palin was voted the best-looking member of the Python troupe by the public. Michael Palin, best known as a member of the comedy group Monty Python, has a rich personal life that informs his work. He's an avid traveler, which has inspired his numerous travel documentaries. Palin's curiosity and respect for different cultures are evident in his shows, where he interacts with locals and embraces new experiences. His love for literature is also noteworthy. Palin has written several books, both fiction and non-fiction, reflecting his diverse interests. His personal values of kindness, open-mindedness, and curiosity are evident in his work, making him a beloved figure in the entertainment industry. In terms of philanthropy, Palin is passionate about various causes. He's been a president of the Royal Geographical Society and is involved in several environmental and educational charities. Palin has also been a vocal advocate for refugees, using his platform to raise awareness and funds for those in need. His personal values of empathy and social responsibility are clearly reflected in his philanthropic efforts. After graduating from Oxford University with a degree in history, Michael Palin began his writing career with Terry Jones. Palin's love for adventure and exploration was evident even in his early work, and this passion would later lead him to travel the world and document his experiences. During the filming of Full Circle with Michael Palin in 1997, Palin had a memorable encounter with a baby crocodile. After helping to hatch the crocodile, Palin asked the crew to capture a shot of him holding the reptile in his hands. This moment, along with many other unforgettable experiences, was documented in the series. Throughout his career, Palin has shown a deep appreciation for history and culture. His work as a travel documentary host has allowed him to share his curiosity and enthusiasm for the world with audiences of all ages. Despite his many accomplishments, Palin remains a humble and down-to-earth individual, always eager to learn and experience new things. Michael Palin, a highly respected figure in the writing industry, has left an indelible mark with his witty and insightful work. His ability to create captivating stories and documentaries has provided inspiration for many. Palin's advice for aspiring writers is to be curious, observant, and persistent. He encourages them to read widely, write regularly, and not be afraid to take risks. Looking ahead, Palin envisions his future contributions as continuing to explore new ideas and stories through various forms of writing. He is particularly interested in exploring historical subjects and sharing his insights in an engaging and accessible way. Palin's advice for those looking to make their mark in the writing industry is to stay true to their voice and vision. He encourages aspiring writers to be patient, as success often takes time and perseverance. Additionally, he advises them to be open to feedback and willing to revise their work, as this is an essential part of the writing process. In short, Michael Palin's legacy is one of creativity, curiosity, and insight, and his advice for aspiring writers is to cultivate these same qualities in their own work. By staying true to their voice and vision, being open to feedback, and persisting in the face of challenges, writers can make meaningful contributions to the industry and leave a lasting legacy of their own. Michael Palin, a former member of the comedy group Monty Python, has had a diverse career in film and television. Despite playing the menacing character Jack Lint in the 1985 film Brazil, Palin didn't visit the country until 2012, when he was making a travel documentary. One of Palin's most successful film roles was in the 1988 movie A Fish Called Wanda, which he starred in alongside his Monty Python colleague John Cleese. This film is considered to be the most successful movie that Cleese and Palin have made together, and Cleese has stated that it is his favorite film of all the ones he has been involved in. Palin's friendship with Cleese and fellow Monty Python member Terry Jones dates back to their university days. Together, they formed one of the most influential comedy groups of all time, creating a unique blend of humor that continues to be celebrated today. In recent years, Palin has become best known for his travel documentaries, which have taken him all over the world. His straightforward and unassuming style has made him a favorite among viewers, and his contributions to the world of travel television have been significant. Michael Palin, a writer of great passion, has left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. From his early days as a member of the comedy troupe Monty Python, he demonstrated his innovative spirit and comedic genius. Palin's work transcended the boundaries of traditional television, captivating audiences with his unique storytelling and wit. 
His travel documentaries, such as Around the World in 80 Days and Pole to Pole, showcased his curiosity and adventurous spirit, taking viewers on journeys to far-off lands and immersing them in diverse cultures. Palin's ability to engage with people from all walks of life, coupled with his knack for finding the humor in any situation, has endeared him to audiences worldwide. Palin's work has not only entertained, but also educated and inspired, demonstrating the power of creativity and perseverance. His contributions to the entertainment industry have stood the test of time, resonating with generations of viewers. Michael Palin's journey is a testament to the power of following one's passion and pushing the boundaries of what is possible. Michael Palin, best known for his role in Monty Python, had a surprising start with the script of a fish called Wanda. Initially, he thought it was awful. However, his opinion changed when he landed the part of Ken, a stuttering thief. Interestingly, Palin's father also had a severe stutter, which proved beneficial for his performance. Born and raised in England, Palin attended the prestigious Shrewsbury School, an expensive public school. This experience was later referenced in Monty Python's The Meaning of Life Through the Sudbury School segment. Despite his privileged background, Palin's humor and comedic talent reached a broad audience, transcending social boundaries. We'd love to hear your thoughts on the work of writer and actor Michael Palin. With a career spanning decades, he's made a significant impact on the entertainment industry. From his early days with Monty Python to his travel documentaries, Palin has always brought humor, curiosity, and insight to his projects. His work has not only entertained us, but also made us think and see the world differently. Whether you've enjoyed his comedic sketches, books, or television shows, we invite you to share your favorite Michael Palin moments in the comments below. If you've enjoyed this reflection on Michael Palin's career, please consider giving it a like and sharing it with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more celebrations of the creative spirits shaping entertainment. Together, let's continue to appreciate the artistry and influence of Michael Palin and other talented individuals in the